Hello everyone, this is DoomKid, just with a quick tutorial on how to change your map name for your Doom map that you've just created. So, of course, the programs you'll need for this are Doom Builder to make your map, but you'll also need Slade, WackEd4, and another program called Doom Writer. And I have a link to all of those in the description. So, once you've finished making your map in Doom Builder and saved it, you want to go ahead and use Slade to open up that wad that Doom Builders generated. It'll just come with this with these contents here. So the first thing you want to do is using Doom Rider, you'll create the bitmap for your map name that's shown on the intermission screen. We've got Doom Rider just here. And this allows you to create any images you want using the Doom text. But for the sake of a intermission screen you want white text because the intermission screen on the text is white so you type backslash CC and then you'll type your map name so let's say I want my map name to be the new level so you click generate and see the backslash CC has made it the same color as the text you see for levels on the intermission screen so what we'll do is we'll save this and to replace map 01, you have to call this CWILV00. So that's C W I L V O O. So OO corresponds to map 01, 01 corresponds to map 02, and so forth. It's a very confusing naming scheme, but basically you have to use the numbers that are one lower than your map name. So CWILV00 is for map 01. So you go ahead and close that. So now you've generated your bitmap. You go ahead and import this file. So this is the import button just here, this little green one. And you see it's CWILV00. It's in the wrong format, so I have to right click it, go to graphic, and convert to. And you go see it's already got Doom GFX here, existing global. You want to click transparent color because then it won't have a visible background. Just click convert. And now you have a bitmap that will actually show up in the intermission screen. So now that's step one. Step two is to use WACED4. You go ahead and create a new file. Ultimate Doom 1.9 is going to give you the widest range of uh, compatibility. So if all you're looking to do is change the level name, Ultimate Doom 1.9 is what you need. And it'll work with anything. It'll work with Doom 2, despite the name. So we'll just go ahead and click Doom2.wad. And then you want to click Strings. And you just go straight down this list. And eventually you'll see the level names here. So we've got, if you're replacing a level for Doom 1, you'll use these E uh, commands here. And for Doom 2, you use these level ones here. So for we've got level one entryway. Now you can see there's two characters left to use. That means we can't go beyond this map name, uh, this map name length rather. So level one takes up a bunch of that. So we can actually just change it to one and call it the new level. So we've got three characters left. So we're underneath our limit. And uh, this will still look acceptable in the auto map. No one's going to be confused by what one means, even though it doesn't actually say level. So you can go ahead and save that. Now, since this is a dehacked file, you want to make it match your WAD name, which in this case is map 01.wad. So save that. And now you'll distribute your WAD with this dehacked file as well. But to make it easier for people using newer source ports that are ZDoom based, you can import this dehacked lump directly in. So it's map01.dev. We'll have to rename that to dehacked in Slade. So what this basically means is now I can load this in a ZDoom based port and it'll work perfectly. But for older ports, they'll need to accompany it with the dev file. So you'll distribute it with these two files, even though for ZDoom based ports, it only needs this. So we'll go ahead and double click that and we'll test this out. Let's see if our new level name works as we planned. So when I hit tab and you can see smart source ports like Xandronum and newer ZDoom family ports 
will actually change your little O1 to say map O1. And now let's make sure that we've got our intermission screen working. And we can see there that the new level does indeed show up on the intermission screen as well. So this way we can have a custom map name both on the map and on the intermission screen. And uh, there's also other ways to do this. You can use a map info lump, but that only works for ZDoom based ports, whereas this method will work for every single port under the sun. If you are already doing a ZDoom based mod, I recommend looking into map info. This is just for those people who want universal compatibility. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you.